Hello viewers, so welcome back to the course on matrix computation and its application. So in the previous lecture we have discussed about the least square approximation and in this lecture we also continue with that one. So in the previous lecture we have discussed that if we have some data points, so suppose we have some data points and these data points are spread over the x y plane. So, we have taken n number of data points starting from here x 1 y 1 and this is x n y n. And then we have seen that if we want to fit a line so, we need a line that is closest to all these points and we have found the error and minimizing this error. So, this is the line basically we have fit that is we are writing y is equal to a plus b x x 1 y 1 x 2 y 2 and in the end it is given x and y n. Then we have seen that based on this one. So, for a line fit we have seen that we came across the matrix that is 1 1 1 and here it is x 1 x 2 x 3, x n and this is a b and that is equal to y 1, y 2, y n. And we came across this uh, system of equation where our line is y is equal to a plus b x. So, this is the line I have taken and then we came across the matrix a and this is x and this is I can write as y. Now, also we have seen that based on this one we found that this system is inconsistent and then we have talked about the projection matrix. Now, so based on this we have discussed about the projection matrix. that is P and this is A, A transpose A inverse A transpose. So, this is my projection matrix which project the or maybe I should take this as a B. So, we have seen that now P is of n cross 2. Now, we have seen that the rank of a is 2 because they are linearly independent the both the columns and then we have taken the projections. So, suppose this is the plane suppose I take a subspace basically just showing like this one. So, it is a subspace spanned by columns of matrix A. So, this is the columns and then and let we have a vector. So, suppose this vector is not in the linear combination or the column space of A. So, suppose this is a vector B and then we have shown that we are taking this projection of this on this space, uh, subspace spanned by the columns of the matrix A. So, in this case its dimension is 2 basically. Then we have taken this projection. So, this is I have taken as a b hat and this is the error that is b minus b hat and this is right angle triangle. So, and then we have seen that if I take 
projection matrix P applying on B I get B hat. So, this one we have seen. Now, I want to see what will happen if I want to take I minus P. So, if I take I minus P and apply on the vector B which is the B vector I have taken on the right hand side then I can write that as a B minus P B and this can be written as B minus B hat. So, if you see from here it is B minus B hat. So, from here I can say that I minus P is also a projection and so I minus P projects the vector B to the subspace orthogonal to orthogonal to the subspace spanned by the columns of A because this is the subspace spanned by the columns of A and I take the projection over this subspace. So, that is a B hat and then we take a and then we take the error terms B minus B hat. So, if I apply this one I get B minus B hat. So, it means this is also a projection and it projects the vector B to the subspace that is orthogonal to this uh, subspace that is spanned by the columns of A. Now, so let us uh, we talk about, so we have seen these things for the linear fit. Now, similarly we can apply quadratic fit for for the given data. It, in this case I will assume that that suppose we have y is equal to a plus b x plus c x square and the data points are this one. So, this is suppose I take this quadratic equation and I assume that passing through passing closest to all the data points. So, in this case also if you see then I will get that y 1 can be written as a plus b x 1 plus c x 1 square, y 2 is a plus b x 2 c x 2 square like this one and in the end I will get y n a plus b x n plus c x n square and from here I will get the matrix. So, I will get the matrix 1 1 1 then here I will get x 1 x 2 x n and x 1 square x 2 square x n square and from here I will get. So, in this case I need to find the value of a b c and on the right hand side I have the values of y's that is given to me this way. So, also I can say that this in this case I have a matrix that is of order n cross 3 and this on the right hand side. So, in this case I get the same system only the condition is that the matrix now have the 3 columns made up of 1 x i and x i squares. 
Now, so this is my uh, equation I have. Now, I know that this system, so I can say that now uh, just I give the it is 2. Now, the system 2 is consistent if all the data points lie on the quadratic So, if all the data point lies on this quadratic equation, this one, then this system will be consistent and we get the solution, unique solution. But so if the point lies on the uh, quadratic equation but in in real world these points are spread all over the x y plane so these points are as we have seen that this is spread over the x y plane so in that case, we say that the system 2 is inconsistent and then we will uh, find out the same way that we multiply by A transpose A and I will write x A transpose B. Now, if you see from here, so this is the equation number 3 and it is called the normal equations. Because if you uh, take the A transpose, then A transpose I can write as a 1, 1, 1, x 1, x 2, x n, x 1 square, x 2 square, x n square and similarly it is x 1, x 2, x n, x n square, x 2 square, x n square. Into x that is a, b, c and a transpose is x 1, x 2, x 3, x n, x 1 square, x 2 square, x n square and this is my y 1, y 2, y n. So, I can write this equation third 3 in this form. Now, if we start doing the multiplication of this matrix, then you will see that it will multiply. So, from here I will get a matrix. So, this matrix is basically 3 cross n and this is n cross 3. So, I will get the 3 by 3 matrix. So, if it is I am taking this one. So, you will see that it is n number of times taking the summation. So, it will be n. Then I am taking first column and this row. Then I am multiplying this first column with the second row and I will get summation of all x i's and then this one I will get the summation of all x i square. Then I'm, I will take the second column here. So, it will be summation x i summation x i square because x 1 will multiply by x 1, x 2 is multiply by x 2 like this one. And this one I will get x 1. So, it will be x i cube where summation is over all over from i to n. So, this is from i to n in all the summations. Similarly, I can take the summation. 
So, now I am taking the third column. So, it will be x i square x i cube and this will be summation x i power 4 and this is a b c and on the right hand side this is again 3 cross n and this is n cross 1. So, I will get a vector of order 3 cross 1. So, I can write from here. So, I am taking this summation. It, so, it will be summation of y i is because multiplying this one. It will be the summation x i is y i is and summation x i square into y i. and this equation 2 I can write this as equation number 4. So, if you see from here then I can write from here I multiply by this so n and you know that if you see from here then this matrix is a symmetric matrix this and this this value is symmetric, this value is also symmetric. So, from here I can write that summation n a plus b summation all x i plus c summation x i square because it is x i square that is equal to summation y i s. Now, I can write like this one a summation x i s plus b summation x i square and c x i cube and this is x y. So, you, you can see from here that if I multiply this by the x i s then I will get this equation. So, third equation will be summation x i square plus b summation x i cube plus c summation x i power 4 and this is my x i square y i. So, this is if you remember from the least square method what we can be drawn draw from the scientific computing or numeric analysis way then if you remember then this is equal to the normal equation. So, these are the normal equation and then we can solve this one to find the value of a b c. So, this is the way we can drive the normal equation through the linear algebra. Now, let us uh, uh, take one example. So, in this I am taking one example and suppose we have the data point that is given to me like this one point 1 and this is minus 0 0.18, point 2 0 0.31, 0 0 0.3, 1.3, 0.4, 2.48 0 and the fifth point is 0 0.5, 3.73. So, these are the data points given to us. So, then a question is find find the best first one line fit and the second one is quadratic fit. So, this is the question. Now, so I can, so my x is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 
and my y is minus 1.03, 2.48 and 3.73. So now, if I take the line fit, you now the case one, best line fit. So in the because this is the least, we have the error, and that error is the least one. So that's why it is the best fit, and in this case. I will choose the line y is equal to a plus b x and then based on this one I will get the matrix that is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 because 5 points are given to me and this x are 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 this is my a b and on the right hand side we have 1 8 0 0.31 1 0.03 2.48 and 3.73 so this is my line fit and i will find the solution of this one and the second one is we have best quadratic fit. So, in that we will get, so basically this is 5 cross 2 matrix and I will get and this is the square I will get. So, I will get 0 0.1 square and I will get A, B, C because here I am consider y is equal to A plus B x plus C x square and on the right hand side I will get the same y. So, Again, I can write minus 0 0.18, 2.48 and 3.73. So, these are the two uh, equations we need to solve. So, if we solve it manually, then it is going to take much time from here. So, we can solve this with the help of uh, uh, MATLAB or Octave. So, let us do with that one. So, first I will write a script for this and I will save this script as maybe I can put it on the desktop and I will write it as d square. So, this is my script file. So, in this case, so first of all I want to write that I want to clear all this variable and then CLC. Now, I need to define all my x points. So, I will just first take the x coordinate. So, x I can write as 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0.5, this value. Now, the y is given to us that is <coughs> minus 0 0.18 and 
0 0.31 1.03 and 3.73. So, these are the y coordinates we have taken. Now, whatever the points are given to us, now I want to plot these points. So, I will write the plot x, y. So, I just want to plot this one with points. So, I just write k means black star and this one. So, this is now if I suppose I just stop here and I run this one. Okay. So, this is a change directory. So, this is my x coordinates and this is the y coordinates and this is my plot. So, you can see that we have a 5 points. So, this is the points is given to me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and all these point if you see that does not lie. So, this point they do not lie in a line. Uh, so, uh, if I take a best line fit then definitely the system will be inconsistent. We have to take the line which is closest to all this point. Similarly, so one line I can take like this one and the another quadratic will be the another uh, type of parabola which is also not passing through all this point, but going very close to this one. So, this is the figure I have just taken. Now, we continue with our code. So, this is the plot I have taken till here. Now, now, I want to define first I will take the things for uh, linear fit. So, I can write for, for line fit. So, I take a matrix A. So, that matrix I know this is it is 1 and x 1 then again 1 and x 2, 1 x 3, because I am writing this as a in the columns. And in the end I will get x 5. So, here I will get the matrix with the first row as 1 x 1, second row is 1 x 2 and this one. So, this way we are able to write the matrix A. Now, so I can write this one as for the line fit and similarly I can write for quadratic fit. So, in the quadratic fit, I will again write the matrix. So, let us uh, I write this quadratic means I just should write Q A. So, this is my matrix and if you see from here, I can write the same matrix here and I will just copy this. So, control C. So, here I can just take this values. Now, if you see from here, this is 1 x 1. Now, I have to put here x 1 square. So, that only the change I have to do x 2 x 3 square. x 4 square and this is x 5 square. So, this is my quadratic fit. 
then I write the right hand side vector. So, I just write b is equal to. So, that is my basically y. So, y I have written in the row form. So, I will just take the transpose of that one. So, this will be my y. Now, so after this one I just want to check whether this line fit or the quadratic fit are passing through all this point. So, for that one I take a I write a matrix A A. So, just write first A and then B. So, this is my augmented matrix I am writing here and similarly I am writing the augmented matrix Q A A for quadratic. So, that is I am writing here Q A and then B because everything is same except the matrix on the left hand side. Now, first of all I want to check the rank. Now, after augmented matrix I just want to find out the row echelon form. So, row reduce echelon form. So, I write just write R R row reduce of A A just I am writing. So, it is the command that row reduce echelon form of. So, it will give you the row reduce echelon form. Similarly, I can write row reduce of Q A A. So, that is also I can write this way. So, from here I will get the row reduce form and if you want to check you can check the rank of also. So, I can just check the the rank of A I can write this of the matrix A. Similarly, I can find the rank of Q A and that is rank of matrix Q A. <coughs> now, from there you will see that the rank will be different. So, the, this will be inconsistent. Now, after this one I define the matrix A transpose A. Now, I want to define the matrix A transpose A. So, A transpose A I just write short form A transpose A. So, this matrix I am writing as a variable. So, from here I am writing the matrix this matrix. So, now I am writing from here matrix A transpose A. So, this one I am writing. So, that is I am writing like this one A T A. So, what I am going to do here? I am just taking the matrix A, taking its transpose and then multiply by A. So, this is the matrix I am getting that is A transpose A. Similarly, I can get Q A matrix then the transpose Q A. So, this is matrix I am writing here. So, that is Q A. multiply by Q A. Okay, so, we are able to find out the A transpose A matrix here. Now, after doing this one, so I am writing from here this is x is equal to A transpose B and from here I will get A transpose A inverse then A transpose B. So, I will get this answer. So, this is my x hat. So, I will write this here. Now, I can write here inverse A transpose A. 
So, I am writing here inverse of A T A because that matrix will be invertible no problem. Similarly, I can define inverse of Q A T Q A just I am writing this name and that is also I am finding the inverse of Q A T Q A this one and here I am writing just I am giving the name this name I am giving. So, let us try to run this one and see that if we have made any mistake. So, I just run this one. So, everything is ok. So, this plot is ok and if you see from here. So, I am getting this matrix. Now, we have started from here. So, I have this uh, x coordinate this y coordinate and this is my matrix A and this is my matrix Q A that is for the quadratic I am taking and then I am I have defined from here this is my right hand side B. Now, you can see from here I have defined the A A matrix. So, A just I have taken the augmented matrix and Q A is the I have taken the augmented matrix and then I found the rank rank row reduce echelon form. So, this is my row reduce echelon form of A A matrix and you can see from here that its rank is 3, but the rank of matrix A A is 2. So, this is inconsistent. Similarly, the rank of this matrix is 4 and the rank of this matrix the matrix we are taking is 3. So, this is inconsistent. So, you can also check that the rank of matrix A is 2 and the rank of matrix Q A is 3. So, this is the inconsistent matrix. Now, after that I have defined A T A. So, A transpose A matrix I have defined. So, this is 2 cross 2 matrix and this is the values. Similarly, I have taken the Q A transpose Q A. So, this is the matrix 3 by 3 matrix I will get and you can check that this is a symmetric matrix positive definite. So, this is my matrix then I have defined the inverse of this A T A. So, this is the inverse it is coming and here it is the inverse of Q A say so that is the quadratic corresponding quadratic I have taken the inverse this value is coming. So, up to now it is ok. So, I can define the next. So, now I want to find the so solution of this one. So, after uh, defining I want to find the x hat for A and then x hat for Q A. So, let us define the x hat. So, this is I am going to define the x hat and this is for the corresponding line. So, I just take L and that will be equal to the inverse I am defined A T A. So, this is the inverse we have defining multiply by the transpose of A because that we have to define star the B on the right hand side. So, that will be my x hat in the in the terms of the line fit. Similarly, I can define the x hat in the terms of quadratic fit and that is also I have to define the same way. So, it is inverse star q a taking the this value. So, I have taken the inverse of A transpose A 
A transpose B. So, this is what we are defining A transpose A inverse A transpose B. Here also I am taking, so I am defining this by L the line and I am defining here by the quadratic x hat. So, this is also I am defining A transpose B. So, now this is my x hat L and this is my x hat Q. Now, after defining this one, so I am able to find the solution. Now, I have to define the line and the quadratic. So, let us uh, define the line. So, I define because y points are given to me. So, I just define the line here now. So, I just write the the line fit is. So, the line fit is. So, here I am defining y or maybe I defining L that is my line. So, line means I am have to define A plus B x. So, x hat L. So, I can take from here x hat x hat L first coordinate. So, that will be my A plus x hat L 2 times multiplied by x. So, this is my line L. And similarly, I can define Q the quadratic. So, that will be x hat q first coordinate plus x hat q second coordinate multiplied by x and plus x hat q 3 multiply by x square. So, this one I can just write like this. So, this is my quadratic fit and that is my <coughs> line fit and now I can plot these things together. So, what I am going to do is now I will take hold on. Hold on means it will hold the plot in the above and then I can write plot. So, I can plot x corresponding L with I just define by blue color. and x with q and then I define by red color. So, this is I am doing here. So, let us save this one and then run this. So, just first I will check these things. So, now up to now we have seen that. So, this is my x l hat. So, the value is a is minus 1.52 and this is b is 9.99 and for the quadratic the value of a is 0 0.93980 b value this one and c value this one. So, my the line is passing so, this is my coordinates of the line that is passing through the given point and this is the coordinates of the quadratic passing through the uh, whatever the coordinates we found from the given uh, quadratic form 
and if we see this one now this is the corresponding plot now you can see that this star points are there so if i take a line line is blue color so that is the best fit and this is going close to all these uh, five points and the red one is the quadratic so you can see that in the in the case of quadratic it is passing exactly from three points and going little bit away from these two points but the line is passing through only one point and going away from these four points so you can see from here that in this case the quadratic is uh, i think it seems better than the linear fit because these points are going very close to the quadratic equation so this way we can uh, plot the uh, all the three plots together in one plot by the command of hold on so this way we can define the corresponding or we can write the code for finding the least square method so after doing this one you can also check about the projection matrix because we also define the projection matrix so i will just show you that we can also i i have solved this one but these things can also be solved with like this one here what we do we define projection matrix p taking b so it will get b hat and then i can solve it a x hat is equal to b hat so this way we can solve so by this way also we can uh, solve the given system and after that so projection matrix maybe just i can write the projection matrix let's uh, define that one also so writing the projection matrix here so i can define my p is equal to so i'm writing the projection matrix first for line l because it depends on the matrix so projection matrix for the line <coughs> now if somebody is uh, becomes confused then they can also write here the some comments and like this one so i can write here that line fit here i can here i can define as quadratic fit so similarly i can define here the projection matrix so projection matrix you know that for the line is i just take a matrix putting star here and then i am writing the inverse of a transpose a so it is i am writing here inverse of a transpose a star then a transpose star so this is my uh, projection matrix so projection matrix is a a transpose a inverse a transpose so this is my projection matrix and i am writing this one here and if you want to check then you will see that the projection matrix is a symmetric matrix and if you see then it's square and its square will be also the same so this one i can just 
save and I just run this one. So, I will get the similar things here. So, you now I have this is my the projection matrix in the case of 5 points. So, it is 5 cross 5 matrix and then you can see that this is just the symmetric matrix you can see from here and if I taking its square then this is P L square. So, P L square is also equal to P L you can see that it is 6 point this 10 raise to power minus 1. So, that will be 0.6 it is 0 0.4 0 0.2 it is e raise to power minus 16 means it is 0 and here it is 0 0.2. So, you can also verify that that P L square is equal to P L. So, this is the my basically the projection matrix and now I can even check from here that my P L star projection star B. So, that will be my B hat basically. Maybe I can just write here and now if I write P L star B. So, this is my B hat and now from here you can see that B hat is this value. So, now if I apply this one P B. So, this is my B hat and now I can solve this A x hat is equal to B hat and then I will get the solution. So, you will get the same solution at this one maybe I can write here the some value I just get x. So, that I can write a backslash and the answer. So, this is the answer what I am getting and this is the my x hat. So, x hat is minus 1.52 and this is 9.9 .9. and if you see this is also the same this value minus 1.5 and this value. So, you can verify that this both are coming same. So, either you can go directly by the normal equation or you can go by the projection matrix and then you solve the system this way. So, both the ways you can find the same solution and this way we are able to do this. So, the same way we can go for cubic for fourth order uh, fit in that case only the calculation will be more and then you can use this type of code and then uh, based on this one you can find out any uh, fit maybe it is. So, you can find the nth degree polynomial fit uh, using the same code. So, it is just the small code we have made that how we can extend this code for the other type of polynomial fit also. So, I think now we stop here. So, in today's lecture we have discussed about the uh, least square method and we have shown that for a given data how we can define the line fit and the quadratic fit and then we have written a code in the, in the octave. So, that using that code we can find out uh, a line fit or a quadratic fit or maybe we can extend this one to any polynomial fit of degree n. So, I hope that you have enjoyed this one. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks very much.